It's really good to be back from my time away, my sabbatical. I want to just say a big thanks to the Board of Elders for giving me this special time to rest. And uh, I never had a time like this to not do anything. Uh, I've been a pastor at Shelton since 2006. And I think the longest time I ever had off was maybe two weeks to take a study tour to Israel. So to have this time and to just really work around the house and uh, not do any church emails, as I was told, and to focus on my life at my home and my children, my grandchildren especially, it was a real blessing. And uh, I asked my wife the other day, do you think I'm any different than I was before? And she said, yes, a little. And she said, I hope it stays that way. And I do too. And I'm gonna do all I can to remember what I learned during this time of rest. And I also wanna say that uh, I hope you have experienced that. And if you haven't, maybe you can even think about it because God has built into every week one day out of seven. And that's what he commanded his people Israel to do. And even though we don't have to do it in that legalistic way, I think the pattern is there because God told the Jewish people, you rest because I created the world in six days and I rested too. So in one sense, if it's good enough for God, it's good enough for us, isn't it? Maybe it means you take one day out of seven and learn to put the phone away or stop doing what you usually do and concentrate more on what really matters in life. Maybe it means, uh, like I also had to do, remembering that life doesn't depend on how many things I get done on my to-do list. I'm the kind of person who loves to check off all those things and if I check them all off and there's nothing left, uh, I'll make another one that says, make new things on my to-do list. Well, I was grateful, yeah, to get some things done, but also to remember that I don't have to. God's world will continue without me at the helm. And I'm also remembering that uh, the Bible says that Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Remember he said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me because I am meek and lowly of heart and you will find rest for your souls. That's where it starts in our souls. And I hope that as we trust in Jesus, we will also learn to rest from our labors, to put away the things that distract us from our time with him, from prayer, meditation, relationships with others. So that's what I learned, and I can't wait to see you on Sunday if you're able to come out and worship with us.